Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my crappy kitchen. The long return after like three years. Uh, so today I'm going to be going over uh, fish tacos, but I'm going to hand make the corn tortillas. <laughs> and uh, hi, Pikachu. <laughs> uh, so sit back. Uh, I'm also going to throw in a little mix. I'm going to spice it up a little bit this time. I'll be uh, providing background music with a live mix. You'll probably be hearing that now. We cut to some clips of me mixing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so what I got going on here is a cup and three quarters of maseca, uh, masa, corn flour, non cultured folks, and about a cup and an eighth of hot water. And, um, just gonna dump it in there and start mixing. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I have this fancy little mixer here with these dough hooks on it, so. Fire that up. You're gonna mix it up until um, you get a nice, like, smooth dough. I'm like the worst with breads, so I don't really, um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess just make it until it's mix it until it's soft. I use this to get it nice and mixed up. I forgot one thing, I'm going to spice this up a little bit, I'm going to put some uh, garlic powder in there and uh, some seasoning salt, just to give it a little bit of flavor in the corn tortillas. Corn tortillas are good, I like flour myself, but uh, I like to give these just a little bit more flavor because they're a little dry, plus it can only help with the fish tacos, so this is a great gut shot by the way, uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, let me add those spices, I'm going to finish making this dough and I'll give you a shot of that later. So what I got going on here, I uh, just mixed up all the, the masa, the water, and the spices. I used about a tablespoon of um, garlic powder and then some spicy seasonal just to give it a little bit of spice because my youngest won't eat this. So it's uh, up for grabs for me and the wife and we like spicy food. So um, once you get it nice and chunky like that, I just start to go in with my hand and smooth it out into a ball of dough. Alright, cool. So uh, I went ahead and started mixing it up with my hands, made a nice smooth ball of dough. Uh, if it's too dry, just add some more water. I think I ended up adding like almost a quarter cup. This is like my second time making them. The last time that I made the uh, or tried to make the tortillas, it just was, they were weird. So I added a little bit more water, tested it out, see if, um, if that'll help get them flatter, not so thick. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, the ball of dough, and now you gotta let it sit for about 30 minutes. Make sure you cover it with like a damp cloth, uh, and then we can get started pressing them.
dough's been sitting a little while, about 30 minutes, roughly. Uh, once that's done, make sure it's covered with a moist cloth so it doesn't dry out. Um, I added like a little bit more water than I wanted to, uh, which is fine though because it kept the dough from drying out. So anyway, now we're going to slam them on the press, flatten them out, make a tortilla. Um, so take your big dough ball, break it up into a little bit bigger than golf ball size balls to make a piece of tortilla. Uh, you can do smaller balls, make smaller tortillas, obviously bigger balls, bigger tortillas. Um, I'm lucky enough to have an awesome friend, Marissa, shout out, who uh, had a tortilla press and let me borrow it for this video. If you don't have a tortilla press, you can use your hands or uh, rolling paper works just fine, anything flattened dough. Um, Tortillas are pressed, you're gonna start cooking them. Uh, and the recipe is suggests using cast iron. Um, I have a cast iron skillet, but all of my cast iron is dedicated for camping and not so much this kitchen, even though it is crappy. Um, I don't want that soot crap everywhere. So, anyway, uh, I got my tortillas pressed. I'm gonna cook them on here. And basically you just want to cook them until they're, they look like tortillas. 